It's Friday and I am all ready to go out because I have a four-day weekend Tomorrow is National Liberation Day or Gwangbokjar of Korea So we have Monday off as a substitute holiday since that day falls on a Saturday And I have Friday off from radio because uh, our Friday guest boy Tello had to go to song camp So we pre-recorded and I have four-day weekend it's been so long since I got four days off in a row so I'm going to enjoy it to the fullest anyway so I ordered this room room slash fabric spray online on Instagram so you know how you always see those Instagram ads I'm not really the type to fall for them but this ad had like over a million views and this owner of a restaurant that I follow and respect he liked it so I was like hmm if he likes it, that means it must be good. So I purchased it. Yeah, that's what you call an influencer. So yeah, I bought it and I'm gonna open it up. So I partially opened the box already because I got too excited, but it's like this. And it's called Hinoki Spray. First, the packaging is nice. Give an A for the packaging. Let's see what the hype is all about. Okay, this is nice and minimal. I'm gonna spray some on my curtains. I think I gotta spray it on like my bed. I'm not sure what it smells like or what it's supposed to smell like. I'm not sure how to describe it. First of all, it's not a scent that makes me go, Oh, wow. It's kind of like, hmm? I guess it smells nice. It smells kind of therapeutic. Kind of smells like medicine. Okay, so it's made out of cypress. And it's supposed to be very faint. The scent is not supposed to be overwhelming. And it's good for deodorizing. It has antibacterial effect, tick repellent effect, air purification effect, and it's also good for stress relief. So I guess it's good to spray on my bed and like bed sheets and pillows to get rid of ticks and bed bugs, especially because it's summertime and it's humid. Okay, well, I'll just have to see, you know, how good it is at getting rid of odors. Odor, odor, odors. Hodor, hodor. Odor. Odor, odor, odor. Yeah, getting rid of odor. I'll update you guys on what I really think of it. It also doesn't contain any artificial fragrance. Let me go check again how my bed is smelling now or how my room is smelling. I smell it very faintly Oh, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of that Le Labo perfume I don't know the name of the scent exactly, but <coughs> I think I sprayed too much I really like the packaging Very minimal, simple I'll let you guys know if I approve of the product I bought through an Instagram ad I always thought to myself, like, who would buy something from the Instagram ads? But turns out that's me. I'm at the basement of the Mondrian, Mondrian Hotel and I came to eat. I'm gonna have Korean food at this place called Kurumshika. Oh my god, all of the side dishes are so good. 
Abe's favorite chapche. My dish is out. I got the kanjangjeo. Got my rice here. Yum. So the art and book store that I went to in my previous vlog, they opened up a store here as well. This one is a lot smaller than the one in Ichiro, but it's more modern and it's really clean because it was just built like a few months ago. comfy shirts like this so I'm gonna try this on because it has banding on the waistline so I think it's gonna be really comfortable I feel like it's a little too much oh the this moment drinking wine alone for the first time ever i've never drank wine alone before but i don't know i just had leftover wine from the weekend and i didn't have dinner today so i just made myself some sauteed vegetables and i still didn't feel satisfied so yeah this is real adulting right adulting means drinking wine alone on a regular tuesday I was watching Modern Family, but I just felt like turning on the camera. Hi, this is Editing Ashley. And while drinking wine alone, I proceeded to talk about my unhealthy relationship with food, body image, and I don't know, just my experience as a trainee with diet. And I got really emotional and I started crying and drinking wine alone and crying it was in the look so i decided to just edit that part out completely i will talk about it again next time um when i'm not drinking alone and when i'm a little more stable emotionally i have a lot to say about that just because you know being in the entertainment industry for like eight years and having to maintain this like ideal body type or whatever it just made me go through a lot of stress and i feel like I unconsciously still kind of deal with that now it's kind of weird um i was actually thinking i might do like a separate series on k-pop stuff uh just all the experiences that i had i feel like a lot of you guys are curious about my idol life and a lot of you guys are interested in becoming idols yourselves so i feel like that might be interesting too 
just to talk about the things that I went through. Let me know if that's like something you guys would be down to watch and something that you guys are curious about. I know not everyone of you discovered me through K-pop and discovered me through Ladies Code or Get Real. I think majority of you guys did but yeah if that's something that you are interested in and something that you would like me to talk about please let me know and I will start another series on that where I cover different topics every week and talk about various things from yeah like diet, beauty standards, uh, audition process, debut and what it was like after actually debuting, did it live up to its expectations, stuff like that. All right guys so let me know and yeah I hope you guys will enjoy the rest of the vlog. So I got this iPad and iPad pen and the iPen, Apple Pen, iPencil from a listener on Sound K. Sound K is the name of the radio program that I do and I got this as a gift from a sweet listener about like a couple of months ago and I basically haven't been able to take full advantage of this because I don't know much about iPads. I thought I could use this iPad to step up my YouTube videos. I did try using it for some of my vlogs already. Uh, like in the Treasure vlog, I did some like text animations and I put it in there. But I feel like that's not enough. I want to know how to do more things. I basically have very little to no art skills whatsoever. And I see all these really talented YouTubers who are also talented artists. I'm always in awe of their video productions and I wish I could do something like that. I know that a lot of people use Procreate but it's 12,001 on the app store and I don't want to buy it right now just because I don't know what I can do with it. I'm such a cheapo. I found this free Adobe app called Adobe Fresco and to help me learn more about using this app I'm going to use Skillshare. Now it's been about like three days since I started looking up lessons on here. If you guys aren't familiar with Skillshare, it's an online community. They have many classes in different fields such as illustrations, photography, editing, music, fine arts, etc. I know with this whole pandemic, a lot of you guys are stuck at home and you guys might be looking for ways to spark your creativity or ways to kind of feed your boredom and I feel like Skillshare is a great place to do that. So I will share some of the classes that I took through Skillshare. The first 1,000 people to click the link in the description box will get a two-month free trial of premium membership. So go check it out guys and thanks to Skillshare again for sponsoring this video. Hey, I'm Rich Armstrong from Tapta using abstract arts and I'm a big fan of play and some of my doodling and experimenting I did with different brushes and tools. Not the best, but it's a start. It is 2.30 a.m. and I don't know why I'm not sleeping. Actually, I do know why I'm not sleeping and it's because there's another thing that I've been enjoying a lot on my iPad and it is this app called, um, what is it called? oil painting and basically I was looking for like an app where I could just color in stuff because you know coloring is therapeutic um, and I happened to find this one this has really beautiful sketches but this is not satisfying enough because this is not actually coloring it's like matching the colors to the number so all you have to do is find a number and then find the corresponding spots on the sketch and just tap it in. I mean, this helps time go by so quickly. When I'm just home and I try to get my mind off things, this is perfect for that. I've done this for like two hours without realizing how much the time has passed by. It does um, depend on the sketch, but they generally take about like 20 to 30 minutes, I would say. This I feel like it's gonna take me a little longer because look at the size of these little ones. Oh my gosh, they're gonna take forever to find. I've done like maybe six other 
six or seven other drawings now and when you're finished and you see the final piece it's very satisfying because after you're done it actually looks like an oil painting i'm not really liking the colors on this i swear there are prettier ones this is so bland so many like oranges and browns where are all the colors at It's so not aesthetically pleasing to look at. I don't like this one. I'm not gonna do this one. I really like this one I did. I like this fruity drink. I'll slowly be filling all these in with colors. Unless there's a better app that comes around, then I'm gonna be moving on to that app. Please suggest me some apps, guys, that I can enjoy on my iPad. Even if it's not coloring, something that I can just do for fun. Uh, yeah, I've just been enjoying a lot of YouTube and Netflix videos and it's because the quality and the audio on this is like superb. Amazing. But I think for now I should go to sleep since it is almost 3 a.m. So thank you guys for watching this episode and I'll see you guys in the next video. Good night.